Now comes the pistol grip. The pistol grip that comes with most kits is a hard plastic, uh, fairly standard, two to five dollar kind of pistol grip. Perfectly fine, functions just fine. Most people choose to change to a softer grip or a different grip that fits their hand better. Uh, the installation process for either kind of grip, and I'll be using on this one a Hogue pistol grip that has finger grooves in it that fit my hand better. Um, I just like this grip or the ergo grip or there's a number of others. The installation process is exactly the same. This is one place where you'll need a long screwdriver with the appropriate Allen head on it if it's an Allen head screw or a long shafted Allen uh, wrench because it has to go all the way up through the pistol grip and thread it into the receiver. So with the safety selector in place, what I do is take the pistol grip, there's a small hole in one side, make sure you're using the right spring. Some people do this differently, I put the spring in first, then with just a little touch of grease, put the detent with a pointed end toward the safety selector into the hole. The grease is there pretty much to hold that in place as much as it is, as it is to lubricate it. Then carefully aligning the spring with the hole as you insert the pistol grip, slide the pistol grip on. Then put the bolt up through the pistol grip. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but there will be a hole, hole in the pistol grip that the bolt goes through. Holding the pistol grip in place. Start threading in the bolt. Notice that as the bolt tightens up, it draws the pistol grip tighter and tighter into the frame. It doesn't have to be very tight. You don't want to go overly tight um, because the inside of the pistol grip is just plastic and it would be easy to grind that uh, bolt all the way down through. At that point the pistol grip is on. When the bolt or when the hammer is forward you should not be able to move the safety selector with the hammer back. You should be able to move the safety selector to the safe position. When you do and pull the trigger. Obviously nothing should happen. Move the safety selector back to fire, hold the hammer, and it should fire. That's the basic function test for the whole trigger group with the safety mechanism.